guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax Garage. We are in the middle of my garage renovation, but today I am gonna show you how to wall mount garage cabinets that aren't made for wall mounting. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a longtime subscriber, always good to have you back. This week I am announcing my $18,000 tool giveaway over the next eight months. So be sure you like, subscribe, so you don't miss out on that information. Now guys, forgive me, it is pretty dark in here. I don't wanna film too much before my lights get put in. They actually get put in tomorrow. And then we should have a great bright studio to help you figure out how to build your garage. But anyways, right behind me are my Sonic uh, MSS cabinets. They are made to floor stain, but I have this weird concrete ledge around my garage, so I actually can't have them floor mount. Uh, and I've had this garage cabinet set up for about a year and a half now, and I had these leg extensions. They're just in place there now. They were straight, but they actually catch a lot of dirt, debris, dog hair. So I'm removing those and I'm actually just gonna wall mount these cabinets. So if you've been following me for a while, I've had many different cabinets in my garage and they've all been wall mounted except for these. But today I'm gonna show you the easiest way, I believe, to wall mount these cabinets um, with a simple laser leveler tool, which I talk about all the time. I highly recommend you get one of these and then the best stud finder in the world. As always, there are links down below for those products if you want to buy them, and every time you use the links down below, it helps this channel purchase more stuff. So, without further ado, let's first uh, get these in the correct location, measure it out, and I'm gonna start with the middle cabinet, and then move one way, and then move the other way. Well, first off, I have measured in between these outlets to get the center, because that's where the center of the uh, the cabinet is gonna go. So you can see I need to move this baby over a little to the left. I don't know if you can see the laser, but that's what's gonna help me uh, make sure we are starting off in the right position before we start uh, mounting these to the wall. The first one is now level and centered. You can see this line is equal space across there. Uh, this is center of the actual cabinet here. So now I am going to focus on wall mounting this one and then I'll worry about leveling everything else because the first one is level. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my stud finder. I'm gonna find my stud along this wall. So there's one. And now I'm gonna move that laser right here. And when I move the laser right here, it will shine through the cabinet and then I will be able to drill a hole through the cabinet because these aren't designed to be wall mounted and then throw a lag screw all the way through into the stud. Obviously studs are 16 on center, so I'll have at least two uh, studs here. I might only have one on these other ones. If I have one, I'll just throw uh, a screw in the top and a bit down, uh, a lag screw, a lag bolt, if you will. So let's get this one done so I can remove this jack and start sorting it out. So if you can see there, I've put a lag on there and there. So basically there's a, a beam here, a beam here. What you can also do if you find yourself only with one uh, stud or beam behind the cabinets is you can bolt the cabinets together um, and that will also give it some more rigidity. But right now I'm gonna move on going left and level this cabinet, obviously push it close together and then find the studs on that one too. supported by the wall and not mounted to the wall but you follow that same procedure if you don't have this concrete ledge and you want your non wall mounted cabinets off the floor I would recommend you always uh, store cabinets off the actual floor 
That way you can get under there with a broom, a pressure washer, or whatever. So uh, I've put two lags in all of them and it is sturdy. I'm not worried about that ever falling off. There is my countertop. Um, I'm going to install that and then you just screw it in underneath. That will also give more rigidity. Well, there you have it guys. I have two boxes, one that goes there and one that goes here, these things. I don't know if I want to put them on this time. I'm going to leave them off for now. I'm going to mount my TV later. But now I'm going to put all these drawers back in, get my tools in there. Because really it's hard to build a garage without tools. Then I have, I think, four, eight, twelve lights there. I got two more, well, I got four more lights that just showed up. Thank goodness there's electricians here tomorrow. So I need to plan out where these are going to go. Here's my theory. There's going to be one, two, three, and then four in the back. And they're going to go this way. Um, so there'll be four, eight, 12, 16. And then I'm going to be able to get a suntan in here. Uh, I had these lights before. Uh, how many do I have? So 24 of these lights and they're two bulbs. So that's uh, 48 bulbs. Jesus. Uh, now I have uh, four, eight, 12, 16 times four, whatever that is. So 64 lights. So about 20, 20 more lights than before. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. It will be super bright, but I am filming in here and the ceiling is black now. So I think it will be the right contrast. All right, guys, uh, my Sonic tools are all in the drawers. If you have been following for a while, you can see I've changed things up. Uh, I used to have a, a gap in the middle there um, where I'd have a chair, but I never actually sat there. So I decided to get the, the drawer set to go in there. And then that cabinet used to be here and it would open that way. So I decided to switch that up and you know, put the drawers in the middle and the odd looking things on the side. Uh, so I've also moved all my tools around. So it's gonna take a while to uh, get used to where I have things. But uh, all in all, I think that's ready to go. I need to put the plates on the bottom. I just can't remember where I put them. so. I'll find them when I start unpacking. Now to figure out these lights, I'm going to lay them on the ground here and see how they look. Alrighty, so this is what I figured out. It is five feet from the wall there, the lights, and then it's four feet off the wall here, then four and a half feet center to center, four and a half feet center to center, four and a half feet center to center, and then four feet right there. Then the space in between is four feet and obviously the same spacing there and that gets us to line up with the hinge on the garage door there from that side of the garage to where this light is let me just double check yeah it's seven feet look at all those light bulbs my goodness all right so i'm definitely gonna have light so now because the electrician's coming tomorrow i want some outlets added so I'm just gonna walk around with the uh, blue tape and right outlet. So I'm gonna add an outlet right here. That'll be for one of my fans to mount right here. Um, I have gone with the LiftMaster 8500 uh, garage door openers. So they're the side mount so I can keep this space open. Um, side note, I'm gonna move these rails up more vertical and then cut those brackets and cut the excess bracket off. Uh, so I'll, we'll see how that all works out. But I'm gonna have an electrician put uh, an outlet right in the top corner there. One motor will go here. I don't think both motors will fit, but that outlet will have enough space to um, let me put both here if it does. But if it doesn't, I'm also having him add an outlet in the top there and here's all my smart sprinkler controllers which is a mess so I'm probably gonna have him add a, a four banger outlet right here so I can clean this up when it's all done but guys that's gonna do it for today that's just a quick update of where the garage uh, stands 
uh, the next video, once these are done, the next video in the garage at least, I'm gonna be doing all the Swiss Trax flooring. So there's a whole bunch of Swiss Trax flooring there. I'm gonna throw that all down. Then I'll probably do the garage door openers. Um, and then on to the mega project, which right here is cabinets for this whole back wall. I'm uh, looking forward to that. But I wanna get the floor down so we don't scratch the new cabinets. So, thanks a lot for tuning in. Be sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment below what you're looking forward to or if you don't like the colors or whatever. But anyways, guys, until next time, I'll see you then.